There's something. Oh, that's a big fish. And what is going on, YouTube fam? We are back and we are going to the river. Um, super pumped. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a little bit hot. So we will see what happens. But the river is looking gorgeous. Um, the water's down a little bit. Hoping that the fish are getting getting happy this morning and going to bite. So we got some live bait that we're going to use. We got some dead bait we're going to use. And we even have some jigs if we want to try some artificial. So we're going to start off using some crawlers and maybe get some of these big big girls to bite. So who knows, I'm seeing a bunch of bunch of fish jumping here and ah uh, oh, man, it just looks glorious. So stay tuned and hopefully we can get some fish on the line and uh, maybe even cook some up for lunch. So let's go catch some fish. Throw a new crawler on here. All I do to hook it, get your night crawler, hook go right through the tip, just like that. Pop it out. Go right back in so it's hanging kind of vertical. And then cut the tail off. All right, here we go. Just gonna three-way bounce the bottom here. Hopefully getting some nice fish. Using, I think, five pound leader right now. So it's gonna be a, a finesse bite when we get something. What is going on there? My rod's broken, what? All right, update. Main rod, didn't know, broken. It's my, my main river rod, it's a 10 and a half foot Okuma. Unfortunately, I don't have that rod now. It's my ultralight, I love it, it's perfect for the river. Um, but I did bring a backup rod, I got my, uh, what is this? This is only a six foot medium light, it's usually what I use for jigging. But I got it with me, I was gonna throw some jigs with it, but uh, we're gonna give it a go, and hopefully we can get some fish on this one. I, I'm confident in it, so. Throw it in the comments though. Let me know if you guys ever broke a rod or shut one in a car door. I don't know what happened to mine. It looks like it got crushed somewhere, but I'm really careful with that rod, so I don't know what happened. Um, but either way, we're gonna make the best of it. I still got one rod. We're gonna get some fish. I know they're biting, so stay tuned and hopefully we can get some. That is so disappointing either way crawler <clears throat> on a on a three-way setup just with two two split shot some five pound leader down to a little octopus hook there's something Feels like another trout, maybe. What do we got? Oh yeah, another rainbow. It's a little, it's a little smaller. Right in the corner of the mouth. But rainbows this time of year. Be beautiful fish. that little guy out. There you go, fella. Hopefully you guys like this type of content. I grew up river fishing, you know, eating rainbow trout, brown trout, brook trout, smallmouth bass out of rivers, you know, anything you can really catch, steelhead, salmon. Um, but throw in the comments. Let me know if you guys like river fishing, uh, boat fishing. What do you guys like most? There's a fish. Caught me off guard. That feels like a smallmouth, maybe. 
Oh, that's another trout. Wow. All right. How big is he? And they do plant this river. But this is actually natural trout because it has its little, I think it's the adipose fin. But it's a beautiful trout. I mean, Come on, little guy. There you go. Hang out. Ooh, there's a bite. There's a fish. What do we got? He's running at me. Another rainbow. Come here, buddy. All right. This one, a little bigger. And it actually broke somebody off at another time because he's got line in his mouth. But look at that, look at the colors on him. He is 10 and a half inches. So, for now, he's going on a stringer because they only got to be 10 inches here. I think I'm going to try a couple different. If I can get one more, I'm going to try a couple different types to cook it. Um, I usually cook my fish, my trout whole, or fillet the sides off and bake them. But I'm going to pan fry a whole trout if I can get two. And then... Uh, I want to deep fry some too, which I know should be good. Cause any fried fish is good. <laughs> Everybody loves fried fish. Throw that in the comments. What do you guys like better for, uh, for trout? Do you like it better baked? Do you like it better pan fried whole? Or do you like it fried? What do you guys do? Yep, he's got it. Doesn't feel that big. Gosh, this is a blast though. Yep, another little guy. Come here, bud. Another little one. Beautiful little fish though. Go ahead, bud. Enjoy the rest of the day. I'm just working it across the bottom. That's all I'm doing. I can feel the gravel. There's a fish right there. There's a good fish. What do I got? Oh man. That might be a bass. That might be a smallmouth. Five pound test. You gotta be a little bit easy on them. Oh, that might be a trout. If that's a trout, I'm gonna be so happy. Oh my gosh, it is a trout. Come on, buddy. Oh, this is a brown trout. Amazing. I haven't caught a brown trout in here in a while, but I know they're here because I just caught one. Had him hooked really good, but look at that fish. Look at that brown trout. He is just shy. He's 14. That is too bad. There you go, buddy. Holy crap. That got my heart going. That is a gorgeous brown trout. Um, like I said, I don't catch a ton of those in here, but whew, man, that was fun. Um, let's try and get another one of those. That could be what's, what's right in that trough on those rocks. So we're gonna get back to it. There's one. Oh yeah. Doesn't feel giant. The rainbow. And there we go. I've actually lost count, but another beautiful little Rainbow trout. 
Dark colors. Yep, he's almost 11. There's a bite. Come on. What do I got? I got him. He feels better. Depends on how he's coming in. Another trout. Might be a keeper too. All right. He's definitely a keeper. He's 11. There's a fish. Didn't even know he was there. What do we got? A fighter? What's a better fish? This is better fish. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's a real good fish. That's a nice rainbow. Right there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous rainbow. 13 and 3 quarter. There's a fish. I don't know what this is. Smally maybe? Chunky little fella. Yeah. We're not gonna keep him. We got plenty to eat. Super excited. Another beautiful fish. Here you go, bud. Get you back real quick. Come on, bud. There he goes. There's something. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a real big fish. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's a smallie or a trout. Oh, it's a smallmouth. It's a big smallmouth. Barely hooked. Look at that, smally. Oh, absolute tank of a fish. Beautiful man. All right, buddy, let's get you revived. There it goes. What a fight. Smallmouth just Dig, acrobatic, just all around pure muscle, great fish. Oh, I feel blessed to catch that fish. Man, today I got enough. I got some rainbow trout and I'm happy. So, man, I'm going to give it a little bit more. But uh, if I don't catch anything else, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. As you can tell, we're back at the house. I know I said that I was going to do a cooking portion on the river, but I forgot some pertinent 
uh, things for the cooking. I didn't have any paper towel and I was gonna deep fry, so that's kind of critical. Either way, um, I'm still gonna do that uh, just at the house. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna deep fry one of these whole and I'm going to fillet one of these, show you how to do that, and then I'm gonna deep fry um, the fillets. And we're gonna see which one tastes better, whether it is a whole deep fried fish or just the fillets deep fried. Either way, they're gonna be delicious and I'm hungry, so let's get going. And this is the one we are going to fillet. So all we're gonna do is cut in right behind the fin, all the way up to the head, turn your knife, that all the way out, turn your knife at an angle and you're gonna cut through all of the rib bones. You can hear them clicking. You're just gonna ride the spine all the way down and there it is. So I did um, take all the innards out of the fish so it wasn't a big mess when I got here and I did that at the river. Um, and now we're gonna take the other side off. So you flip your fish over right behind the fin, cut towards the head Pop that up, and then turn it, and you're gonna start popping through the rib bones and pin bones, riding the vertebrae all the way down to the tail. And that's all that's left on that. There is not a lot of meat that is perfect and cleaned off. Now, we're going to take the rib bones out of these, and to do that, come on in here, we're going to go to the top of the rib bones. You can hear them right here. And you don't want to waste all the meat, so you're going to kind of, this is kind of a delicate process. You're going to keep your knife turned to where you can pretty much see it through the ribs. You're going to ride that all the way down, cut it off. left down here. Cut that off. And now we're going to take the fillet off the skin. So I have a little handle on this one. I'm going to go in and start working my knife down the skin. And then I'm going to hold this and kind of pull it back and working my knife back and forth following the skin. all the way down and there we go there's the skin nothing left on it now the good part is with these little trout we're gonna clean this up a little bit but these little trout don't really have a big bloodline there's a little bit but there's not much that you really have to worry about now there are some pin bones in here but these are smaller trout and they're pretty much just gonna fry out I'm not too worried about it so now the other one that we're gonna fry whole, I'm actually gonna take the head off this, it's gonna be easier. We're just gonna pop down, pop through, and cut that right off. And we're gonna cut these two front fins off as well. And like I said, I cleaned these out already, I got it on, I got all of the bloodline out that I could, and we are just gonna fry that one whole. We're gonna make a couple incisions. So we can get some seasoning in there on both sides and it's going to fry more evenly and it's going to be delicious. We're going to take some Frank's Red Hot and my breading mix which is um, one cup yellow cornmeal to a quarter cup flour and in here I have Everglades Original and Everglades Heat. So we're going to Throw some Frank's Red Hot in the bag. We're gonna throw our fillets in there. A good coating on those. Throw those in there. And I like these containers because they lock shut. And you can really not worry about making a mess. Flip it over. Shake it up, coat those fish really nice. Each one is perfectly coated. We're gonna let
let that dry. And we're going to take this whole fish and we are going to do the same. Yeah, a little bit extra in the cavity. Shake it out, but that coated up perfectly. We're going to let that sit and we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. All right, so now that the oil's heated up, we're going to throw the whole fish in first because uh, that's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to be pretty good, I think. So we're going to give that probably a minute, maybe two. Then we're going to throw these in and they should finish just about the same time. So I'm super excited. It's going to be delicious. I'll see you in a minute. Should finish just about the same time. That one's already looking absolutely fantastic. And be careful throwing stuff into hot grease. Uh, we'll give that a few minutes. That looks so good. That's why you cut those uh, incisions in there. That way the oil can get in there and cook it evenly at the same time. These. The lays are just about done. We'll give them about 30 more seconds and pull them off. Really important when you have fried food, paper towel to drain that excess grease off. Man, those look crispy and delicious. Let's get this whole fish off. Oh man. All right, look at that. All right, moment of truth. Here we go, we're gonna start off with the uh, filleted fish. And we're gonna see how good this is. Super crispy, flaky meat, really hot. It's great breading, that's no doubt. That's quality fish any day. I really like that. I actually might uh, start deep frying some, some more trout. Um, I do it every now and then, but man, that's delicious. So let's go, let's go to the whole trout now. And let's see what we can do. Just look at that flaky white meat. I mean, ooh, it's hot. It looks really good. It's skin on, so that's gonna change it too. I think it's gonna keep the moisture in a little bit better. This is really hot. Wow. That's really good too. It definitely is different. It's a little bit more moist. Um, Let's say there's maybe a little fishier flavor just because the skin's on it and you got that little extra fat in it probably. But uh, that's really good. Um, I'm gonna cook more trout like this as well. And the best part about whole fish is this part right here. A lot of people don't eat these, but man, tails, fried tails are delicious. They're crispy, they're like potato chips. It's fish and chips all by itself. I mean, you really can't go wrong with fried fish, but uh, this is wonderful. I'm really happy I did this. If I had to give a winner, I probably still like the filleted fish a little bit better. Um, it's just, it's, it just reminds you of that good fried fish, some fish and chips, you know, and just, it's, it's wonderful. This is really good too, though. Don't get me wrong. I will do this more. This is really good as well. And I'm really excited about how this turned out. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you guys liked the video. We caught quite a bit of fish today. Uh, it was a really good day and, uh, I was happy to be on the river, happy to catch these fish and happy to have a good lunch from this. So I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button too to see when more videos drop. Um, until next time, you guys have a good one. Can't leave Rosie out. There you go.
Good girl. She loves fried fish. <laughs>